okay so last time i act we are done with how the gas exchange surface works what are the adaptations of a gas exchange surface okay and now we move on to the learning outcome in which we have to study the structure of the parts of the respiratory system in which we studied how the air enters through the nose and the mouth into the trachea and then from the trachea into the bronchi and then from the bronchi into the bronchioles and from the bronchioles into the alveoli we did all of this right we studied the external surface of the lung and then we studied how the lung looks like when we have cut it in a vertical section like this which you can see on my screen right now and then we moved on to the mechanics of breathing okay the mechanics of breathing means how do we physically breathe in and breathe out okay how do we physically breathe in and breathe out and also just quickly recapping i told you that there is a difference between the three terminologies and what are those three terminologies respiration breathing and gas exchange are three different terms respiration breathing and gas exchange respiration happens at a cellular level okay respiration is happening at a cellular level yani ki cell ke andar ye process ho raha hai inside the cell gas exchange is happening only at the gas exchange surface which is the alveoli and breathing or mechanical breathing ya yeah, breathing in and breathing out is taking place inside the lungs in the trachea in your bronchi in your diaphragm if you remember i had also mentioned about the diaphragm your intercostal muscles and your chest cavity your thoracic cavity okay so quickly repeat quickly repeat what oh, i have written on my my slide right now ji okay yes yes um you said my respiration is inside the cell and um, gas exchange uh, breathing um miss what did you say that the oxygen is purified or could you like repeat the last thing gas exchange is the two way exchange of gases like two way exchange of gases which okay. means exchange oxygen and carbon dioxide which can, yes which can happen through um the lung the trachea the bronchi the diaphragm the intercostal muscles and the thoracic cavity Um, Miss, I also wanted to ask you that where are the intercostal um muscles situated, and um they are antagonistic muscles, right? Hmm. This we will be doing today, right? So we have done gas exchange. This was all that we did. In fact, we didn't even do it last time. We've done it before that, and then now, and we have done this in detail. Yeah. We have done one question on how the. two way uh, movement of gases takes place oxygen and carbon dioxide we've done the features of a of an ideal gas exchange surface we did this question if you remember and now we move on to the mechanical act of breathing and the mechanical act of breathing of course takes place through the lungs in fact this is what also what we did last time we had studied the differences between the composition of the inhaled and the exhaled air um as far as oxygen carbon dioxide and water vapor is concerned ye kiya tha humne last time and also we did one more thing last time and that was see ye ye but ye is is slide se pata chal raha hai ki i have already explained you the differences between mechanical breathing between gas exchange I'm... and respiration theek Re hai respiration is a metabolic yeah. process jo cell ke andar ho raha hai gas exchange is a two way movement of gases that's happening in the alveoli mechanical breathing is equal to the act of inhalation and the act of exhalation and it's taking place in the different parts of your respiratory system acha this is what we did and i'm quickly reaching to the slide where i was explaining you how this breathing takes place so if i want to and again put both your hands on your chest cavity on your thoracic cavity and deep inhale for example so when i'm inhaling deeply i'm actually filling up my chest cavity with air right 
my ribs are moving upwards and outwards my diaphragm is being pulled down in other words pulled down ka matlab another word yeah. uh, the other way of saying diaphragm is pulled down is ki the diaphragm is contracted theek hai and the air is coming yeah. in jab hum apni chest cavity ke andar jab air andar dalna chahte hain to we we bring our chest in such a position aise karke jaise gehra saans lete hain karke we are actually increasing the volume of the chest cavity this is the volume of the chest cavity ye bada ho gaya hai it is increased so that air can be sucked in diaphragm is being pulled down in other words diaphragm is being contracted taki wo niche khiche jab niche khichega to lung ki cavity badi ho jayegi right now coming to the internal and the external intercostal muscles acha to see the internal and the external intercostal muscles this diagram is better i am zooming into this diagram these are your ribs right and these are like yeah. for example the muscle the muscles that you can see these muscles that are lying in between the ribs are your external intercostal muscles ek aur bhi muscle hota hai internal jo ki yahan laga hua hota hai internal is somewhere here oh okay the empty space is basically ha huh. external bahar ki taraf internal andar ki taraf acha if you want your lungs to increase in size in other words if you want ke aap inhale karo so what will you have to do you will have to contract your external intercostal muscles and you have to relax your internal intercostal muscles acha ab inhone kahan kahan dikha hai ab to cut karke dikha hai lung so this is your external intercostal muscle ye jo andar ki taraf muscle bana hua hai this is the internal so when your yeah. chest cavity wants to inhale when your chest cavity wants to bring inside the air the external muscle will contract and the internal will relax theek yeah. hai the external yeah. will contract and the internal will relax the ribs will move outwards and upwards the okay. diaphragm will also contract all these things will together lead to an increase in the volume of the thoracic cavity volume badh jayega pressure kam ho jayega प्रेशर बाहर ज्यादा होना चाहिए देर बी मोर प्रेशर इन साइड एंड देर विल बी लेस प्रेशर सॉरी मोर प्रेशर आउटसाइड एंड देर विल बी लेस प्रेशर इन साइड ओके एंड ऑल दिस प्रोसेस विल बी वर्किंग टूगेदर टू ब्रिंग एयर इन साइड नाउ यू टेल मी ऑल दिस इन योर ओन वर्ड वॉट हैपन्स वेन यू इनहेल और वॉट हैपन्स वेन यू डू डीप ब्रीदिंग और डीप इनहेलेशन येस um miss when we um do deep inhalation our diaphragm is uh our thorax and then um it lets air come it moves upwards and outwards uh, the internal costal muscles relax and the external contract correct if we look at this diagram which is you know just next to the diagram of inhalation or we can also call it call it inspiration okay. so yes are you saying something aniza i can't hear you aniza yes so miss basically when the diaphragm relaxes it lets the um the air goes upwards and it um relaxes the intercostal mus uh, muscles um the external intercostal muscles which were first contracted um relax and then the inter internal intercostal muscles contract repeat what you said again repeat the entire okay. thing in this situation you are trying to squeeze the air outside your lungs into the outside environment yani lung ke andar jo air hai 
आप उसको बाहर एक्सपेल करना चाह रहे हो हाउ डू यू डू इट breathe out then your diaphragm relaxes and returns to the normal um how it normally dome is yeah dome shape and then after that um the first the external intercostal muscles contracted now those external intercostal muscles relax and those internal uh, internal intercostal muscles which were relaxing now contract okay now they contract and what about the volume of the thoracic cavity do you, do you see a change between the volume of the thoracic cavity over here and yeah. the volume of the thoracic cavity over here where do you yeah. find the volume more um miss in b volume volume ka matlab size oh sorry then a a volume ka matlab kitni badi hai thoracic cavity right yeah, so you can fill in it miss but like i'm confused okay it's um this is like a dome shaped thing in b so like won't it have more space no it won't have more space dome shaped ka matlab hum kis space ki baat kar rahe hain we are talking about the space of this cavity we want this to get enlarged so when will this cavity get enlarged If oh, the miss... diaphragm is dome shaped, तो तो उसको push करेगा ऊपर, उसको छोटा yeah, yeah. कर देगा cavity को. Yeah. मैं से actually right? got um confused because of the red lines uh, with the diaphragm. Achha. So that's why I said B hmm. at first. What will happen to the ribs over here? The ribs will move over here. The ribs are moving upwards and outwards. What about over here? They will um move inwards and outwards. Inwards and, and downwards. And downwards, yeah. Inwards and downwards. Acha. Okay. What about the volume of the thoracic cavity? Is the volume of the thoracic cavity less over here? Um. Yes. And what about the volume of the thoracic cavity over here? Is it more? Yeah, it's more. ठीक है. Acha. Now, when the volume is less. ठीक है एंड योर लंग्स दे वांट टू स्क्वीज द एयर सो दैट इट कैन बी एक्सपेल्ड आउटसाइड अच्छा अब लंग्स आपको स्क्वीज करना चाह रहे हैं तो चारों तरफ से स्क्वीज कर रहे हैं डायफ्राम इज आल्सो स्क्वीजिंग इट द इंटरनल इंटरकोस्टल मसल्स आर आल्सो स्क्वीजिंग इट द रिब्स व्हिच आर मूविंग डाउनवर्ड्स एंड इनवर्ड्स आर आल्सो स्क्वीजिंग इट चारों तरफ से प्रेशर आ रहा है देखो एरोस देखो सब अंदर की तरफ जा रहे हैं ये भी एरो अंदर जा रहा है ये भी एरो अंदर जा रहा है ये भी सो दिस एक्चुअली मींस That that the pressure inside the lungs will be more. The pressure inside the lungs will be more, and the pressure outside will be less. ठीक है? ये समझ आ रही है बात? Yeah. Or not? Miss, why is the pressure inside more? Like the air is there? Is it because of the air? Air is coming in. Yeah. जब एयर अंदर आ रही थी तो व्हाट डिड आई से आई सेड दैट द प्रेशर आउटसाइड इज मोर या देखो एयर को किसी किसी जगह से अंदर आने के लिए ना फॉर एग्जांपल ये एक खिड़की है ये आपका कमरा है एयर अंदर आना चाह रही है द प्रेशर ऑफ द एयर आउटसाइड योर कमरा शुड बी मोर देन योर रूम तभी जाके एयर yeah. अंदर आएगी ना उड़ उड़ के आएगी हवा ठीक है yeah. ये बिल्कुल ऐसे ही है द प्रेशर आउटसाइड योर लंग्स pressure of the air outside your lungs will be more that's why the air enters inside in inhalation theek hai lekin buhi pressure jab aap exhale karoge to andar pressure zyada ho jayega kyunki is waqt andar se bahar ja rahi hai so the pressure of air inside will be more and outside will be less simple aur ek to ye ke waise bhi aap samajhne ke lihaz se isko yaad rakh sakte ho aur a very logical reason of the pressure inside the lungs being more is that charo taraf se there are things which are squeezing the lungs okay the diaphragm is uh, actually squeezing it the internal intercostal muscles are squeezing it the ribs which are moving <coughs> downwards and inwards are squeezing it so jab squeeze karenge to kya hoga ye bilkul aise hai jaise ki aapke paas ek balloon tha jo ki hawa se bhara hua tha theek hai hawa se bhara hua tha ab aapko us balloon ko push karna hai to aap usko squeeze karoge तो वो खुश हो जाएगा ना ठीक है ये बिल्कुल ऐसे है जैसे आप उसको यू आर जस्ट लेटिंग दिस इनफ्लेटेड बलून द बलून द बलून इज एक्चुअली योर लंग यू हैड फिल्ड दिस बलून विद एयर एंड नाउ यू वांट दिस बलून टू बी डिफ्लेटेड 
So in order to be deflated, the pressure inside the balloon should be high as compared to the pressure outside, which is why the air will move outwards. Yeah. It's like diffusion, right? basically. Yeah. Huh. Achha. Now, okay, quickly read this. I'm sharing my screen and when you're done, you keep telling me and I'll be scrolling it. Read it. Okay. Part. Yes. What are these uh, horseshoe shaped uh, cartilage, right? So this yeah. horseshoe shaped um, rings of cartilage or hoops of cartilage are these ones. I'll just show you this diagram of the trachea. The first diagram that we did. Now, if you look at the trachea from outside, you will, can you see these hoops of yes, tissue? These hoops yes. of very tough tissue are the cartilage rings. Why do we have these cartilage rings which surround our trachea is so that the trachea doesn't collapse. So Allah Ta'ala has made our trachea in such a manner because this is the important pipe where air ko guzarna hai. So in order to avoid the collapse of this pipe and so that we might not be choked, these pipes are completely surrounded by these hoops of cartilage. If you want to have a feel of the cartilage, touch your ear right now. Aniza, apne kaan pe haat lagao, touch your ear lobe. Does it feel very tough? Yeah. Anna, it's actually tougher than skin and it's less tough than bone, isn't it? Miss, but then I have a question. Like, how can it get pierced if it's really tough? Pierced? Achha, the ear. No, we, are, we, we don't pierce the cartilage. We pier, pierce the ear lobe. I'm telling you not to touch your... Uh, okay, let me draw this. If this is your ear... What I'm telling you to touch is this part. Touch this part. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So this is a very tough part. Whereas you pierce over here. You pierce at the corners, at the skin, the soft part. Yeah, okay? miss, but you no matter how many. Yeah, some really yes. crazy people also get it done inside. Huh, so that's their problem. That's another thing. They, uh, crazy people can do anything. Crazy people can change their genders also, right? So now let's not talk about the craziness. The craziness stood in today's era is, you know, crossing every limit. Usko aap chhodi do. Lekin yeah, ke, right now, I would say, uh, right now, I would say that the uh, by the sentence that um, you have these hoops of cartilage, horseshoe shape, actually means these are rings of this tough tissue which surround the trachea so as to prevent its collapse. I'm ending my meeting so that I can restart again, right? Yeah, okay.